Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kristen. Welcome, hello. Today we're going into Ikea, which sounds kind of strange because Ikea makes furniture, but I'm going to look to see if they have low waste, zero waste food. Because if you don't know, Ikea like sells like prepackaged food like in jars and stuff. So I've never seen this on the internet. I've seen a lot of like go grocery shopping with me zero waste videos, but I'm gonna test out Ikea. Let's go check it out and hopefully this store has it. Okay, so Ikea, I was actually pleasantly surprised. I mean, they don't have a massive food section, but I'm going to go home and tell you guys what I found, show you guys everything, but um, it's just like at the very end past the cash registers, at least at my Ikea, and they did have some stuff in like glass and all of that, so I'm pleasantly surprised. So I am going to show you guys what I found. I Bye, Ikea. So I'm back home now. I just went to Ikea. Let's get into like the packaged foods at Ikea. I was shocked just because I haven't ever really looked at their packaged food section. They have a bulk candy section, you guys. Like what? They have a scale where you weigh your bag, you put all your candy in the bag, you weigh it, a sticker is printed out you slap the sticker on the bag and then you pay for it. Like, I was so shocked that they had a bulk candy section. They do have like paper, kind of waxy, almost plasticky type bags. Like it is a paper bag, but it's just not, it's not like a brown paper bag for sure. And it has a really cute print on it with candy all over it. Now, I would be interested to know if you could bring your own bag and then just put the sticker on the bag. So you do have to print out the sticker, unfortunately, so there is some waste. But the fact that they have a bulk candy section is pretty mind boggling. Um, I did see that some of the items did have gelatin and carmine in it. So I think there were a few that were vegan. Don't quote me on that. I wish I had looked at like each individual ingredient list. Who the heck knew that there was a bulk candy section at Ikea? Because I sure as heck did not know this. So that was really cool to see. Um, they did have like vegan candies. Like I saw like a sour Viking, which is their version of like a sour patch kid. There was no gelatin, there was no carmine in it. So that was really cool. It was in plastic, but it was just cool to see some vegan options too. The next thing was the chocolates and they had like a paper wrapping. So it either was plastic or aluminum on the inside. If you guys know what it is, let me know. Unfortunately, none of the chocolates were vegan. I saw milk in every one of them, including like the dark chocolate variety ones. So that was kind of a bummer, but what you gonna do? You win some, you lose some. And then the third thing I saw was jam. Like they have a ton of jam, lots of different varieties, berries, blueberries, all the different kinds. There were some berries I never heard of and like a set of two and it came in like a little paper cardboard packaging thing and then the jars were in that. But yeah, who would have known that they sold jam? Like Ikea, what? I didn't know you were in this. I did not know you were in the food business, <laughs> Ikea. So that was kind of crazy. And then they had sparkling juices. They had like a pear sparkling juice. These were all non-alcoholic. They had like a passion fruit apple, I think mango mixed sparkling juice. like. They looked really tasty. I need to try them one of these days. The sparkling juice just came in glass. I don't know, it was just interesting to see those items because I would have never thought that Ikea would have sparkling juice. Like I'm all for sparkling juice. 
Hit me up, Ikea, I'm ready. And then they had juice concentrates. So they had like a blueberry juice concentrate. They had like an elder flower. Is that what it's called? An elder flower concentrate? So I don't know if you like mix that with some sugary beverage, with a lemonade, if you wanna mix that with a cocktail drink or just drink it straight. It's probably gonna be really tart or sour or whatever it is to drink it straight. But yeah, it just came in glass. They also had seaweed pearls, which also came in a glass jar. I don't really know exactly what that is. I've heard it's like a vegan caviar, potentially. I don't know. I probably wouldn't try it. It was bright orange. It was interesting. But right below it was like this big carton with plastic over it that had the individual jars in it. So there's the waste that you typically don't see in grocery stores and stuff like that. Like things might still come in plastic. So that makes me wonder if the other like jam jars also came in a similar thing that was wrapped in plastic with cardboard underneath. And I don't know, those are the types of things you kind of think about. Did the bulk candy come from a plastic bag and then they put it in the bulk candy section? I don't know because I don't see it, but I did see it with the seaweed pearl jars. So I don't know, that's just something to kind of think about, especially when you're going grocery shopping or shopping anywhere and you're like, oh, it's zero waste. There's no plastic. You don't necessarily know because it could have been shipped in plastic. So you just don't know. You can never know unless you see the whole process from start to finish. So I just wanted to point that out as well. There was a box of cookies and cereal that I saw and I did the little shake test. If you guys don't know, if you see like a cardboard box of food, I'll shake it and sometimes you can hear like the plastic bag surrounding the food, but sometimes things are just kind of in there loose. So I shook both of those, the cereal and like the, I think it was like an alphabet cookie type thing. And it kind of sounded like there was plastic. I couldn't tell, but something tells me that there's plastic in the box, but there is that. Let's talk about the food at Ikea. There is a restaurant in Ikea, if you guys didn't know, and it is really tasty and Cheap, it is cheap. I got the veggie balls, the whole meal is vegan. It comes with like a curry sauce and some green beans and I don't know, it's just really good. The veggie balls are bomb. I could just eat that by itself. And it was $3.99, not including tax. It was a great deal. They serve it on real plates. They have real like silverware, real forks, spoons, knives, all that jazz. So you're not creating any waste. They don't have cloth napkins, but you could totally bring that, you know, no big deal. So I do like the fact that they have reusable things. It's not all on paper. For the meal being as cheap as it is, you would expect it to be like on a disposable plate or something along those lines. Like it was 430 with tax for my bowl, which is, incredible because it would be at least ten dollars to go elsewhere like that is the cost of like a fast food meal so a plus for ikea on their food prices for sure they also have a veggie hot dog which i'm assuming is pretty similar to the veggie balls i think it's just like the veggie balls which i'm all for and it's only 75 cents so those were my finds at Ikea. I did not expect to find a ton of like zero waste products. Obviously you're not gonna be going like grocery shopping at Ikea, but if it's close and you're going to the restaurant to get a cheap dish, you could go wander into the food, prepackaged food section and see if you wanted to try anything. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and it would mean so much to me if you would hit that subscribe button down below and yeah, just remember that you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I do wanna give a big shout out to my friends Rachel and Mary for suggesting this. They were at Ikea like a month ago and were like, hey, Kristen, you should make a video about this. So I did. So thank you guys.